Hello guys, welcome to this video. So we will talk about uh, how to do limit problems in this video. And I will show you exactly the five kinds of limit problems that usually come in J mains or J advanced and how to approach each of this kind. So there will be no questions apart from the categories which I'm going to show you. So this is going to be a useful lesson. And also just to announce that the ICICMI and the J advanced, the long course of four months is going to drop very soon. There also is going to be a scholarship test, which all of you can attend in order to get some perks and uh, a very good amount of discount as well. So this test will be conducted. This will be free for everyone. And also this would also serve as a uh, practice to you because I will be discussing solutions live on YouTube and also the uh, proper way to approach this kind of papers. So let's see. First of all, we are only going to talk about limits. Take it. And we will see there are five different kinds of limit problems that usually will come. So the first type of problems are the adjustment problems. Adjustment problems. Now, what do I mean by this? So adjustment problems are simply the problems where you have to adjust using some standard formulas. So you know the standard formula sin x by x uh, when x tends to 0 is 1. And e to the power x minus 1 whole divided by x as x tends to 0 is 1. Now, Consider a problem like this, limit x tends to 0, e to the power sine of x cube minus 1 by x cube. Now, this is the adjustment problem. Why? Because you see, we can write this limit as limit x tends to 0, e to the power sine of x cube minus 1 by sine of x cube. And then you can write sine of x cube here by x cube. Now, do you see that this is nothing but the product of two limits, two separate limits, which are nothing but the standard formulas. What are those standard formulas? So number A, the standard formula of limit, limit x tends to 0, e power x minus 1 by x. This is equals to 1. And number B, you can also see limit x tends to 0, sine of x by x is 1. Correct? So combining these two, we can easily see that since uh, in this formula, we have e to the power x, where x tends to 0. So as x tends to 0, sine of x cube also goes to 0. So these formulas are applicable for any other uh, e, e power and denominator as well, as long as they also tend to 0. So you can see this is the same format as this, and that sine of x cube also goes to 0. So this limit is 1. Similarly, sine of x cube by x cube, if x goes to 0, then x cube also goes to 0 which means this is again in the same format and x cube also satisfies the property of x. So this is also one, the answer is simply 1 into 1, 1. So these are the problems which you have to do using standard formulas. Now this is the part 1. Now after adjustment, you will get questions which can be easily solved using something called L -ha -p -tel, or Lapita. So what is the Lapita rule? So if you have a limit in this form, limit x tends to a f of x by g of x. Okay. And this limit, when you put the value x as a and in this uh, f of x and g of x, you will simply get something like f of a by g of a, right? Now, individually, this might correspond to two different forms. First of all, it could be a 0 by 0 form. Second of all, it could be an infinity by infinity form. In both of these cases, we can apply L Hopital. What is it? L Hopital would simply tell you that in this limit x tends to a, f of x by g of x, if you see that putting the value x equals to a gives me any one of those forms, 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity, you can simply write this limit again as limit x tends to a f dash x by g dash x. That is simply derivative or find the derivative of the numerator and the denominator separately and put in place. Now, again, if this limit as well is also in 0 by 0 form and you cannot find the answer directly, you can find out the derivative again and write this as f double dash x by g double dash x. So basically, you can differentiate again. And you can keep continuing this process as long as the limits satisfy the form 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity. So uh, this is how uh, this L Hopital works. And it's a very, very powerful tool. I have used it in a lot of videos. I've explained it. And a good example would be probably like this. You can take any one of the standard limits, sine of x by x. Now, how does this limit equal to 1? Well, it's a 0 by 0 form. If you put in x equals to 0, sine of 0 is 0. 
x is zero, it's a zero by zero form, which means I can differentiate both sides, right? Uh, I can differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. Differentiating the numerator, uh, numerator gives me cos x and denominator gives me one. D d x of sin x is cos x and d d x of x is one. So this is nothing but limit extends to zero cos x. Now you can simply put the value cos of zero, which is what one. And thus you get the answer. So in uh, almost every problem, you will be given this format and this format is going to represent zero by zero or infinity by infinity form. Those are the questions which are very easily solved using l hop or Lapita. Number three, you might have to use series expansions at some point, which would uh, basically make your work a lot easier. So series expansions may, you can remember these things that sin x is x minus x cube by 6 plus x to the power 5 by 120 and so on. Cos x may, you can remember that cos x is 1 minus x square by 2 plus x to the power 4 by 24 and so on. Okay. Tan x, you can remember similarly as 1, uh, sorry, not 1, uh, x plus x cube by 3 plus 2 upon 15 x cube and so on. Because when you are given this sin x, cos x, tan x, or maybe e to the power x, you know, which is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial and so on, you can use this approximations. A good example would be this. Uh, if I were to, let's say, do the limit, limit x tends to 0, 4 sin of x by 2 minus 2 tan x by x cube. Now, this is again a 0 by 0 form if you put the value. But if you try to differentiate this and use L hospital, you have to do it three times. You can try it out. Yes, you will reach the answer, but you have to do it three times, which means it's going to be a lengthy process. Instead, what we can do is we can simply apply L hospital uh, series expansion. So, you know, we will apply the terms up to X cube only because the higher terms after X cube will automatically become zero because we will use the distributive law. And any term involving x to the power 5 or anything like that, those will get distributed with by x cube and they will produce x square x4 after cancelling the x cube, right? And as, as limit x tends to 0, all of those terms become 0. So we only need to worry about the terms up to x cube. So apply that. Remember that for sin x by 2, the expansion would be x by 2 minus, as you can see here, sin x is x cube by 6. So this should be x by 2 whole cube by 6, correct? Similarly, for 2 tan x, it should be x by 2 plus x by 2 whole cube by 3. We don't need to write the other terms. So we just put in the approximation and we have divided by x cube. Notice, uh, oh sorry, uh, I think there was no x by 2 right here. It's simply x plus x cube by 3. Notice that 4 into x by 2 is 2x and this is also 2x. The 2x cancel off and you are simply left with x cube which is you are left with minus 4 by 6 into 1 by 8 into x cube. And here you are left with, I think, 2 by 3 x cube, whole divided by x cube. Cancel all the x cubes off and you simply have the answer, which is, I think, 1 by 12, minus 1 by 12, minus 2 by 3. And this would give you 8 by 12, 9 by 12, and minus 3 by 4, which is a required answer. And this can be uh, found out in only a few steps, two, three steps, right? But using a hospital or any other kind of arrangements would might give get you in trouble, right? So these questions can be solved using series expansions. So these are very important. Number four type of question are the ones where you have questions like variable to the power variable. So variable to the power variable would simply always take log, okay? Always take log and then apply a hospital as per you wish. An example would be this: limit x tends to zero, x to the power x. You have L. If you take the log, you get log of L equals to limit x tends to 0. Remember, log will get inside it. This would become x log x. And now you see that at x equals to 0, x is 0, but log x is minus infinity, which means this would become limit x tends to 0. I can write this as a 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form. So I would rather write it as an infinity by infinity form. Notice that log x goes to infinity. 1 by x also goes to infinity as x goes to 0. So that means it's an infinity by infinity form. We can do L hospital, right? So doing L hospital simply will give you log x differentiation 1 by x, 1 by x differentiation minus 1 by x square. Cancel off, you will get an x, which is 0. And since log L is 0, L should be e to the power 0, which is 1. 
and that's the you got the answer so any this kind of questions can be solved using log and there are some standard formulas of one to the power infinity form and stuff like that all of them can be solved and finally number five the we will have questions regarding n tends to infinity so in n tends to infinity questions remember it's important that you always do let's say we have a question like this by n square right so you have to know the basic formulas of one say n ka sum kya hota hai what is the sum from one square plus two square plus three square all the way up to n square or cubes so this one i can simply put in the value so let me write limit n tends to infinity n into n plus one by two n square and then you can cancel one of the n's write the half outside and write this as limit n tends to infinity always convert it to one by n to the power something form so n plus one by n, I will simply distribute it in two different parts. First one will be one, second one will be one by n. This one by n goes to zero since n tends to infinity. That's the technique here, and your answer will be half into one, which is one half. So this is a very basic technique, and this technique would be used throughout in any of these problems. Okay. So also there are advanced techniques like Stolz's Arrow theorem and stuff like that, but those are for advanced parts, and you would find it in the calculus course and calculus mastery course as well. But Using that, uh, we have provided a lot of examples, but this kind of questions can be solved easily using this. There is a sixth type as well, which is limit as a sum, but we do not require that explicitly now. So that would complete limits here. And well, it was a short video, but I hope it was helpful because these are the only five kinds of things you will ever find in your exams. And you have to master them one by one so that limits say if you get four marks or eight marks of questions, you should be able to do 100% of them. Those eight marks should be a confirmed marks for you. It's a guaranteed marks so that when you go get the exam, any question you get, you should be very comfortable. Ki achha, this is going to be from this portion of the, or maybe it's a composition of L hospital and adjustment, something like that. So thank you for watching the video. Also, uh, the ISICMI and the J advanced course will drop soon. And calculus mastery course and J advanced J11 course is already on the way and it's going to pick up the pace. So we're already enrolled in it. They will be finding lot more content this week by the end of this week so that is also going to happen so thank you for watching for the app description and for joining the telegram group you can find the links in the description you can download the app and also on the web you can access that thank you very much